what the hell is a font face? I'm just saying, is it something like... Hey, Power with Director Peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to add fonts to Power Director to use in all of your titles and text. If you've been wondering how to add fonts to Power Director, I want you to put hashtag add me some fonts to the comment section below. All right, Power Director Peeps, I left you waiting long enough. Let's go ahead and jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every single time I upload content to YouTube. Let's font some stuff up. When you want to use additional fonts in PowerDirector, you don't actually add the fonts to PowerDirector. You add the fonts to your PC or your laptop. Once the font is installed on your device, the font will be available for use within PowerDirector. It's a pretty simple process, and I'm going to show you how to get it done. As you can see, I have a title in the timeline. When I open up this title, I want to look for a font called Blazed. So I'm going to go here to the drop down for the fonts. And I'm going to go to the section where the bees are at. And I want to see if there's anything called Blazed. And there's not because if there was, it would be right after Blacko because they're in alphabetical order. Now, I don't see the font that I want, but I know that I can go get it. And that's what I'm about to do. So I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go online. I'm going to go to a site that I like called defont.com. Now, there are a bunch of different sites out there where you can download fonts for free. There's even a lot of sites out there where you can buy fonts that you can put on your PC. I like this font, so I'm recommending it, and this is where I'm going to go. Now, as you can see, there is a font on here called Blazed. So I want this. I'm going to grab it. Come on, I don't care about you and your stupid last scan. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to click on download. So it's going to download this zip folder to my PC. So I'm going to click on this little arrow here or this carrot, and I'm going to go to the folder where it's located at. Now, a zip folder is a folder that has compressed files in it to make the file size smaller. So you really have to unzip this to get to all the files inside. There could be several files, could be one file, doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to double click on this. And so we see here that we have the blazed TTF file. That is a true type font file. Now it could be a OTF or other types of files in there, um, but they will work when you install them on your PC. So what I could do at this point is I could just double click this and it will install it but I wanna show you where they go just in case you want to go ahead and place them in the font location manually or just in case you wanna see where all your fonts are. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna click on Extract and I'm gonna click on Extract All. This will give me the opportunity to create a folder or place it into a specific folder that I want and I want this to go into my folder that's called Fonts. So I'm going to create that folder there and place the file in it. And it will actually show that location when it's done. So I'm going to click on extract. And now it shows right where I put it. So I'm good to go here. So now I need to go to the location where all of my fonts are on my system. So if you go to the control panel, I'm going to go down here to this little search window. And when you type control, you get an option called control panel. It is a desktop app. Click on that. And once you do, it'll pull up your control panel. Now I'm in the view for small icons. If you go here to view by, you might be under category and it might show this view. So you can click on this little drop down and you can change it to large icons or small icons. I'm gonna go to small icons and when you get to this view, you should see a location called fonts. 
So here's where mine is located at. I'm going to click on that. And now I can see all of the fonts that are on my system. So in order for PowerDirector to see the Blazed font, I need to move that file in here with the rest of my fonts. So instead of double clicking on it like I could have done before, I could just left click on this with my mouse and drag this file into here. And you can see that it's ready for me to just copy it right on in. Let go of my left mouse and it installs the font. So now if I scroll down a little, we see here that we do have the blazed font in my system with the rest of my fonts. So that means that now I should be able to access this font in PowerDirector. If I go back to PowerDirector and I open this title back up and I go back to the font dropdown, and now I go to B's and I look for blazed. There it is. Blazed font. I don't know why I did that, but there you go. The blazed font is in the building. I can go ahead and use this now with all of my text and my titles for Power Director. And there you have it, people. How to add amazing new fonts in Power Director 17. Don't forget to check out more of my content to learn how to use Power Director. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll have some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Those are affiliate links. So if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You'll pay the same price as if you went to the website and bought the software on your own. So if you want to help me help you, use the affiliate link. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. If you have any tutorial requests that you'd like me to make, please go to the video description and complete my tutorial request form. If you got any questions, you just want to talk, chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, make sure that if you want more education and more information on how to use Power Director, that you subscribe and you watch more of my content. All right, so you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.